Hi, my name is Aaron Lopresti. I'm a uh, comic book artist. I've been drawing and uh, writing comics for the last uh, 20 years. I worked for Marvel Comics for several years. I now currently work for DC Comics. I've uh, drawn Wonder Woman, um, X-Men, Spider-Man, I'm uh, Justice League. I'm currently uh, working on a few Batman projects right now. And um, I've also written and illustrated a book. So uh, the book I wrote and illustrated is called uh, Fantastical Creatures Field Guide, How to Hunt Them Down and Draw Them Where They Live. It's a, uh, a humor book that has color illustrations in it of creatures and monsters that I created on my own. And it has basically a text write-up uh, humorous write-up about each one of the characters. I just recently got to draw Batman for the first time in um, his own book. I've drawn him in Justice League before where he sort of guest starred here and there in different books, but drawing Batman and Batman villains in his own book has been, has been quite a thrill. So I'm going to say even after 20 years of drawing uh, the Hulk and different characters, drawing Batman recently has been a real thrill for me. Well, I've uh, created a, as you can see in the art back here, I think you can, um, a character called Kit Carter, who's kind of a 50s sci-fi uh, space ranger. It's, a, it's meant to be a, um, a humor adventure strip. I haven't actually done much more than um, a few initial scripts and some production art for it, but I haven't actually put the book together yet. When I was very young, you know, I started drawing at a very early age, like pre-kindergarten, and I was very interested in animation and thought that was the direction that I wanted to go. When I got to be about uh, 10 or 11 years old, I discovered comic books. And back then, we didn't have to go to a comic shop. You'd actually go to 7-Eleven or Plaid Pantry, and they had them on the rack there. So you'd walk in to buy candy, and you're like, hey, what is that, that Spider-Man or whatever. And so I started buying comic books, and I started really getting into them. And I think it was the... As a young boy, I think it was the heroic adventure uh, stories that, you know, the escapism that became a, a great interest to me and really sort of was attractive to me. Drawing stuff that was bigger than life, as opposed to an animation at the time, the cartoons that I was watching were not really superhero cartoons. They were the Flintstones or, you know, something of that nature, where it was just a humorous cartoon. But the comic books offered a heroic escapism and a sort of an artistic freedom that I didn't really see in animation. So I really got hooked on comics at 10 or 11 years old and just kind of followed that through. Uh, I was one of those kids who knew what they wanted to do when he was, you know, 10 years old and actually ended up doing it. And getting into comics, the thing that sort of sustains me again is there's such a variety of stories and characters that you can illustrate or tell stories about. Outside of comics, just for illustration, is a big J, uh, J.C. Linebecker fan who did a lot of the Saturday Evening Post covers in the early part of the uh, 20th century. The reason I like his stuff so much is he was kind of a precursor to Norman Rockwell. His stuff was really well executed, but it had a certain over-the-top exaggeration to it that um, really gave it life. It wasn't, it wasn't photorealistic in the sense that... Um, you were looking at a, a, a portrait. The guys that were influences on me were uh, mostly Frazetta, Wrightson, um, Jim Stranko would be another one. Neil Adams was a big influence on me um, and my work. And you try to take all these different influences and try to create your own style so that, you know, you have your own individual voice, but at the same time, you're, you're kind of incorporating things into your work that you enjoyed looking at from these other artists. Hey, visit AaronLopresti.com. How about that? Did I get a plug in? <laughs>